All right, this is 1661 Sanroy Drive, and we are going through the clean out that is out by the street, and I'm going to run it up towards the house. At first glance, yep, this is absolutely Orangeburg pipe, and you can already see we've got some roots growing into it on the side. The counter in the bottom left is going to show you how far in to the pipe we are. Definitely Orangeburg pipe. And this section here is broken absolutely broken and this looks like it's going to be right under the tree this is to the point to where the camera is not even going to push through it so what i'm going to do is locate exactly where this spot is my camera's even getting hung up you can see how the pipe is not nice and pretty and round here this tree has pushed the pipe up to the point that this is going to be a large problem so we're going to locate this spot and put a green flag in the ground and or spray paint the ground. So we have marked this spot. Uh, it is directly next to the oak tree, uh, about six inches off of the oak tree actually. And that is why the pipe goes from looking in this area semi-round. Uh, we never really see perfectly round Orangeburg pipe. But here you can see how I'm pushing over a root and then trying to go through this little hole and the camera just will not make it. And I'm only 18 feet in. Fairly, fairly stiff push rod camera as well. So if it will not go through a clean out 18 feet towards the street, there is absolutely no way that the camera is going to go down a stack and pass this point, uh, no matter what stack on the house we go through. So that is absolutely one issue is it's Orangeburg pipe. There's a break or an issue right next to or under a tree. My suggestion would be to replace the sewer, uh, figure out where the property line is, and see if a possible reroute can occur. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the camera back now. Again, I've gone in from the cleanout that's near the street. It's a PVC cleanout. And you can see that the pipe goes directly to PVC from Orangeburg. Now I want to go and take a look going downstream from the clean out to the tap. As you can tell, all this is PVC here. And now we are in clay tile pipe, which is city pipe. So zero issues from the clean out to the city tap. That looks beautiful. Absolutely an issue where the tree is, where the Orangeburg is. That's why the camera would not pass that section when we went from the roof during the first inspection. All right, so we are on the roof now. We're going to go down through the main stack, and we're going to inspect the lines under the house. The house sat vacant for a while as it was a foreclosure, so we recommended having all of the lines underneath the house jetted. Once I get down through here, go right through a combo. Perfect. Let me reset my counter, and we'll take a look at the pipes under the house. This section here looks like possible roots but I would jet it to be sure since the house sat vacant for a while possible again it looks like possible roots yep absolutely looks like roots but we don't know if we had something living inside of here I've seen um, rodents and rats and things live in the lines and they will put things inside of the drain. Let's see if I can push this past this toilet paper. Yep, 
usually when it's broken, it will look like a big cavern, which I'm not seeing. So we have some toilet paper to see if I can push through. Absolutely scaled up, no doubt about it. A whole lot of toilet paper, I'm going to see if I can get past. Yeah, and this is the transition to Orangeburg, which we've mapped out previously. So we're outside of the house. Sewer comes out of the same side of the house where the city cleanout was found. So I'm going to pull back and we're going to take a look at this again. Usually when the pipe is broken, it's very obvious. This one with the amount of scale that's on it, it may not be as obvious. The item of concern I was referring to are the little porcupine looking things. But like I said, we have found rat's nests inside of houses in the sewer, especially when they've been vacant for a while. I would recommend cutting the line, running the jetter through here, getting all of the debris out so that we can actually see the condition of the pipe. All this area looks good. I don't see any issues here. The closer we are to the stack, if that's where the quote-unquote porcupine, these items here are, the better chance we have of the line not being broken. You can see them here along the bottom of the pipe. It doesn't look like the pipe's broken. It almost looks like something might have made a nest in here, which is very common. So with that being only six feet from the base of the stack, there is a really good chance that the line itself is not broken. Something was just making a nest in here. So we're getting closer to where the bottom of the stack is. And now we're coming back out of the stack. I would stick with the original plan. Uh, cut the line. When the line is cut, right where it goes from cast iron to Orangeburg, I would have the line jetted at that point after jetting. Uh, happy to come back and run the camera uh, for you so that we can take another look at the pipe and ensure nothing is broken after it's cleaned. There is a break in the Orangeburg pipe, which is underneath the tree, which we've marked next to it. I think best case scenario would be to try to figure out where the property line is and then have Chris come out here and see if there's a potential way to reroute where the sewer comes out of the house to where the city clean out is. Thank you for watching.